Well, hey guys, I figured I'd go ahead and give you another update on the container garden and also show you some additions to the container gardens. Now this is that first one I started where I have spinach, icicle radishes, which turned out pretty good actually. And in the back row I have Detroit dark red beets. Now the beets, they seem to be going a bit slow. The radishes took off like crazy. And the spinach took off really good too, but it started bolting right away. And I think it's just because I planted it too late in the season and it got really hot. We had almost 100 degree weather here in Michigan in May, which is kind of unusual. And that may be what caused the spinach to bolt. If you guys have any idea how to keep spinach from bolting, uh, you know, please share. Give you a little close up on those spinach plants. And the beets. So as you can see, there's been quite a few additions to the container garden and I'm just going to take you in close and show you each one individually. Now first thing we've got is the hibiscus that I hand pollinated from a plant in our house and grew from seed this season. I have four of those. They're all in separate pots. And then I had a, an extra lemon balm, which uh, didn't really have any place for it, so I went ahead and stuck it in a large container because this will self-seed, and next year this whole thing will be chock full of lemon balm. And I can set it anywhere in my yard, right up by the kitchen door if I want. And I did actually go ahead and use a, a plastic uh, reused a milk carton to make a tag for that so I remember what it is once this plant dies back. More of the hibiscus. Now here's another large container and I got these containers I saw them uh, out sitting by the side of the road somebody was throwing them out so I went ahead and grabbed a few up. So that's another reused item that isn't going to go in our uh, landfills. Uh, this has Black Beauty Zucchini Squash in it. I put three plants in there, and once it gets going, I'll thin it down to the one best plant. Another hibiscus. Another hibiscus. This is the best one of the bunch. And the prize of my garden, my stinging nettle. Now, I harvested these seeds from the wild and uh, sold them this spring outside. Uh, I suppose you could say they had a slight amount of cold stratification, but it didn't get below freezing. And I've read that you have to cold stratify um, stinging nettle seeds to get them to sprout, but obviously they don't require much cold stratification, if any, because that's really doing well, extremely well. I had that in a smaller pot transferred it to a bigger one. Now the dill that I had in a smaller part, pot, it's just off the hook. There's five or six plants in here and it's hard for me to bring the camera back far enough for you to actually see the whole thing. But it's one of my best uh, container plants so far. And again I put it in a big pot because I'm hoping that it will self-seed uh, and if it doesn't I can always just save seeds. Now this container again I had some leftover herbs this is oregano and broadleaf sage. They were just leftover herbs so I took two of each and stuck them in this big pot. And we're getting pretty close to the end. I want to give you an update on the lettuce 
this was that lettuce blend that I grew uh, it looks real nice and healthy but it's not getting very big and it's probably because I didn't thin it out I've already harvested most of the radishes that were in here they they didn't get a lot of leaf on them but the actual radish itself was pretty good sized and had a really good mild flavor here's one I can pop out of there so not huge compared to the other ones but again I think it's just been probably just over 30 days maybe 40 days on these radishes those are icicle radishes good companion plant for squash if you're curious but I wanted to do an experiment with this lettuce and it it is definitely staying kind of small this red variety is kind of growing up so I would assume it's the strongest so that's it for the container gardens uh, oh except for this one right here which is again I just had a an old uh, container that was starting to get brittle and break so I just converted it into a container garden uh, for this one I didn't even drill holes or anything uh, one thing I did do with this one is I kind of made it into uh, a hugel culture bed because uh, I had some old punky firewood that was on the bottom of my wood pile and I layered it in the bottom instead of gravel because I didn't have any gravel and then uh, I had some old bark and small bits of tree matter that I crumbled up real small and piled on top of that and then I just filled it with garden dirt and I'm hoping that that wood will help retain moisture when it gets dry in the summer and I went ahead and planted this with uh, market more slicing cucumbers and as they grow I'll just uh, I'll probably end up trellising them along this pea trellis here or I may just let them grow out in the yard here but that's it that's the update on the container garden and uh, say like I always do thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support